Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm back. Don't my spirits sound soaring? They are. Um, I'm having I just got my boons my wounds dressed as my honey. He did such a good job. He's an amazing help. He is having a lot of issues stressing about every time I wince or whimmy, you know, he stresses them out. He's also not uh, naturally a wound care guy. <laughs> like me and my sisters are like, ooh, get it. Not all of them. Some of them like, Bleh. but see, me and some of my sisters are like, ooh, get me in there and let me clean up that boo-boo, you know? Um, but I wanted to just check in because I haven't checked in in a while. And I know that I have friend mail open. I have a help coming soon. Um, they're going to come by tomorrow. I'm going to fill out paperwork. So I'll, I'll get daily help every day. So Hopefully, um, with that extra help, I'll have a little bit more energy to focus on the channel a little bit. Um, my mouth is healing. It's not better 100%. I keep telling everybody I'm better than I was yesterday, but not as good as I'm going to be tomorrow. It's going to be my new slogan. <laughs> so, um, that's how I feel. Um, the rash is, the medicine is working. Today's day three on the medicine. We are seeing some improvements, which is yay, exciting. <laughs> Anything else, Jim? Did I forget? Jim. Um, I want to thank everybody for their generosity, and it, you know who you are. And I want to call you out and your family out, but I did send you a really nice text message. It was just really nice. Thank you for your generosity. It's really meant a lot to me and my family right now. So thank you. And I wanted to thank my sisters in New York. They have been amazing support um my sister with her generosity as well and then of course my sister-in-law is just like banging it out of the park taking care of me so thank you so much um jane kathy alicia julie jim lisa sharon everybody who's just been reaching out uh dr k um the r family <laughs> Like, I don't, I'm, I'm, I never really know who wants to get shouted out, you know, like, who, who doesn't really want people to know their business, but I just wanted to thank everybody, really. Those of you, uh, Destiny and Mom, just reaching out to me and just checking in, and Donna, all, I just, I'm sorry, just so many names, and I love you all. I just want to let you know that I love you all, and thank you all for being here. Um, it was emotional. The, like I said, the side effects are starting to calm down um, slowly a little bit every day, which is good. I know it's slow. Processes are slow. Not everything's overnight. They didn't develop overnight. I don't expect them to get healed overnight either. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm able to tolerate a little bit more texture in my food, just a little bit more texture. So, there's that. And, um what else my lippers you can see there like i i have like like i'm like dehydrated <laughs> can't drink enough water it's like to get the medicine out or whatever it's just i feel like just a lot of water i'm drinking and still i feel like i'm still feeling like dehydrated and i'm doing the very best that i can with that um uh what else am i doing i'm excited that next wednesday we go back to the leg surgeon and hopefully get permission to start walking and maybe doing some PT on the right leg, which I'm very excited about. I don't know if he's going to be too happy about the leg wounds. Hopefully they'll heal pretty much a lot in the next week. Um, but they're also showing some signs of improvement, skin growth and stuff like that, which is good. Um, I don't know. Things are just coming along. Um, and I wanted to make sure I checked in with you guys. I haven't really been doing anything other than recuperating. Um, obviously I'm doing like my self care tasks, that type of thing, but really it's just been recuperating. It's been taking care of myself and trying to take my medicines and flur flush all the toxins out and that type of, type of thing. So I wanna just let everybody know that I'm good. Everything's good here. Um, I want to tell you, if you guys could add Jim to your prayers, I know you guys have been praying for us for a long time, but Jim is really um, having a, a big struggle dealing with this. I know he's my spouse, and I, my sisters, my sisters, my family has always been like, step up, this is your game, you know, first sickness or in help, better or worse, but we're caretakers by heart and nature, and he isn't. 
he's in service, so he wants to help, but he's not like necessarily like, let me change your diaper type of person. <laughs> so he is struggling with all I'll of the- cook, <laughs> but I ain't changing no dang diaper. <laughs> He is struggling with all of the tasks that uh, I need from him to do. So we're trying to get some help still. We're working on it. I did get new insurance. I got um, I got approved for the like emergency Medicaid because of the cancer. So I can seek treatments close by, which is good. I can get more services, which is good. It's just that it just went into effect. So we're still trying to like, um, yeah, not figure it out so much as find the services and, you know, get it, get put referrals in to get services and such and such. So, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, so I'm currently not on any treatments. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I do want to touch base with. I don't, I still don't have much of an appetite, but if you guys remember before when I was like not doing a lot, um, I didn't have much of an appetite. So it wasn't just about the chemotherapy. It was like, really, I don't do enough to like work up an appetite. Um, so I am trying to get my calories in and my nutrition in. Uh, I'm almost below 300 pounds, which is like so weird for me. I don't think I've been there for almost 20 years. When I tried to get pregnant in like 2002, 2003, it was the last time I was below 300 pounds. So it's going to be weird, but my surgeon wants me to lose weight. My oncologist doesn't. It's like a whole fight they're having with each other. But anyway, um, so I go back to the surgeon next week and um, then Hopefully he gives me permission to start doing things for myself. If I can, if I get permission to start ambulating with just a walker, then um, I can get in and out of the bathroom. You know, I can start using the toilet again. Yay for the toilet. We actually got a bidet for Christmas. They had it on Black Friday for like, I want to say it was $20 at Walmart. And Jim hooked it up and he's like, the water's really cold, but it's cool. You know, like it works really well. So I'm like excited to get in there and just be like, go to the bathroom like a, like a big girl. Um, it'd also be easier to get in and out of the shower, um, which I still have to do all this with my back brace on. So it's a little extra with the back brace on. Um, so we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right. But listen. If nobody's told you today that you're loved, don't forget that I love you. Even if you don't see me every day, please don't forget that I love you. Okay? All right. And here's my smile. And as always, <laughs> you guys. What? You want to say hi to the people? Hi. Yeah, pray for Jim. He's doing the best he can. Oh, that's what I started to tell my sisters. My sister's like, it's time for him to step up. And I'm like, you know, there are people whose spouse gets terminal illness who, like, take off. So, like. Yes, we're the kind of people that step up, and there's also the other side of the coin, which is people who take off. I'm grateful he's still here, and he's doing everything that's in his strength to do, plus stuff that he's stepping way outside of his comfort zone to do, too. Um, I know, I know. Um, but I, I'm just so grateful for him. I try to tell him that every day, but he just doesn't, I don't know, if I just say thank you too much, or I don't know. But I am very, very grateful for everything that, that he is. He's my partner. He's my best friend. And I love him. And I love you. You too. Trying to hold back tears? No, I'm actually trying to clip a nail. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just kidding. He's He sometimes gets emotional and he wants to pretend like he doesn't hear anything. I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. But I miss you guys. I missed interacting with you um, every day. And hopefully I have an eye doctor appointment next week and hopefully, I don't know, maybe I can get some actual like help with my eyes, which would be great. But we'll see. Um, listen. As always, you guys, you take care. God bless. And we will see you next time. Bye.